Hey everybody, Tom here, and I'm just going to uh, talk to you about my my experience seeing the get back uh, at IMAX. Uh, I was really looking forward to this, and I unfortunately didn't get the chance to see it on the 30th, like a, like a bunch of people did. So I had to wait until uh, this weekend. Uh, this is what the uh, the 13th is it. Uh, and uh, I got to see it on Friday the 11th. So I hope you all are having a great Valentine's weekend, having a good time myself. And uh, so let's get started. So, you know, like I said, I didn't get a chance to, to see it on the 30th. Or so uh, last week I, I got tickets uh, well, the week prior and uh, I went to, uh, to the AMC at Desert Ridge here in uh, North Phoenix. Been there a lot of times, had a good experience there. Um, I've been there a lot, like I said, uh, it's close to close to home. Um, when I purchased the ticket, it said uh, six o'clock. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that that time slot. So, uh, and it also has had, it also said a, a runtime of 90 minutes. So I thought, well, maybe we'll also get the, uh, the Peter Jackson interview afterwards like they did for the 30th. But more more about that later. So I get there, uh, get to the theater about 5.45. Um, unfortunately, there was no swag this time around either, like a bunch of people got, or like everybody got on the 30th. But that's fine. I, I've got room, this room is filled with stuff anyways. I don't know if I need any more stuff. But anyways, <laughs> um, so like I said, the, I got there at 5.45. I got my popcorn. I got my soda really quick. I was putting a lid on the on the uh, on the soda, and I was getting ready to walk in. As I was getting ready to walk in, all of a sudden I heard "Get Back" starting to be played, and I was just like, "What the hell is going on?" So I hurried up to my seat, and it was already playing. So somehow, it started early. So I was pretty irritated during the rest of the of the showing, and. Um, you know, as as it was showing, more and more people came in because everybody thought um, it started at six o'clock. So um, the rest of the movie plays, and so we were all of us were looking at each other, going, "Well, didn't everybody's ticket say six o'clock?" Yeah, everybody said six o'clock. So I said, "Okay, I'm going to go down to see the manager, and I'm going to." bitch and try to get my money back <laughs> so um as i was walking down the stairs uh, i got to the bottom and there was already a manager there on a headset talking to someone else so apparently the projectionist her schedule or the person's schedule uh was to play at 5 30 so there was a big mix up there ticket said six the projectionist uh, schedule said 5.30. So I then asked the manager what our options were. Were we going to be able to see it again or were we going to get you know our money back? So they made it to where they played it again. And everybody was happy with that decision. So got back to my uh, seats. And um, 10 minutes later, they, they started to, to play the um the film again now i will say this was pretty much right around an hour so after that first screening was done there was no peter jackson interview so not only was the time wrong on the ticket but the runtime was wrong as well so now getting back to now the review because now i was able to uh start from the beginning and um it started with the same history lesson that the Disney Plus uh, show started with, the little 10-minute um, history lesson, like I said. And I'm, I'm still a fan of this. I still think it's, it's cool. It's, it's, um, it's good for, for the casual fan and for the younger fans. And there was some younger fans there. Actually, in front, sitting in front of me were three generation of women um there to watch this and um and that was pretty cool to to see um i will let's i'll talk about the audio or i'm sorry i'll talk about the visuals first and and man this was just an eye candy i really enjoyed this imax experience the second time around as i was really irritated the first time and 
the colors really pop. I mean, it just looked 10 times better to me than on, because I have a 55 inch screen TV, not a big deal, but seeing this now on the IMAX, I mean, those, those shots just seem 10 times clear. And there are some great uh, visual, visual aspects, you know, of there's more, um, how do you say, when this, the split screens are up there, it just looks, the images on those split screens just look 10 times better. There was a couple instances where I was just like really starting to tear up a little bit with the, with the, bit, with the, uh, with the visuals. And I believe um, uh, John singing, don't let me down. And he's getting to the part where he screws up the, uh, the lyrics. So it's side by side, two, two screens. It's, it's John. And then you see George. And then you you uh, you see John singing the messed up lyrics, and then you see George laughing about it, which was which was really cool. And then right as he's singing the chorus, you see a shot of of John still, and then and now it's Paul. And then you see them, you know, looking eye to eye, and um, and then Paul comes in with his backing uh, vocals with that. And man, it's just really powerful, just to, again to see that we've all heard these performances over and over again in the past but to really see them was really moving and just just a delight there's also a moment where where john is singing and there's three there's three that's a three split screen and you see three different images of john singing the same song but just from different angles and and that was really cool too just to just you know to see that and this was uh you know again you know, everybody was 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 loving this. This was a you know really great quality. The 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 work that Peter Jackson and his team did was absolutely fabulous. The colors really popped out at you, and it was just. I mean, a lot of people were talked about how you know this could have been filmed yesterday, and you know, and it could have perhaps um the there was no blurs or anything like that everything every image was, was clear um you know you know matter of fact you could see you know the redness in the in the cheeks of Kyle Cole was, you know um so yeah the the visuals were were fantastic and i would probably say um my biggest gripe then would probably have been the audio. This was the one thing I was actually kind of looking forward to because when you go to the um, the IMAX or any movie theater, you're getting this you know great surround sound, and it's just going to be really loud, and that's really what I was was hoping for. So the first time around, you know, I wasn't really enjoying any of it because you know they played it late, and it just the 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 audio just didn't seem like it was like a 5.1 or it just didn't seem loud enough um, to me. But, but then once they, again, when they played it from the beginning and I got to experience from the start, then it really clicked for me. So then the audio, I could hear, you know, instru different instruments coming from different speakers. I usually sit all the way in the back, in the, in the middle. That's where I usually like to go when I go to, go to a theater. So, so that was, um, that was, that was good. So, I mean, the music, when the music played, it, it was clear, it was loud. And then also, I'm still a big fan of all the audience uh, reactions. And, and that, again, that, that was really clear. That was loud. You can understand what they were saying. Some people still needed the subtitles because you couldn't, their, their accents were so thick, you uh, really couldn't understand what they were saying, but it was fine. Um, you can still get a sense of, uh, you know, you can still hear them clearly is what I was trying to say. And um, you didn't have to have the, the TV up really loud here. I mean, there over there in the, in the theater, it was it was perfect. I didn't really need the, the subtitles. So um, that was that was fine. Um, also, again, you know, when, when there's confusion, you hear the music. And then when they're in the Apple office and sometimes that was kind of hard for me to hear when I was at home watching it. This time it was just like crystal clear. I could hear hear everything perfectly. So it's almost like they they lifted, you know, the um, the voices up, and maybe brought the music down a little bit. I don't know how they did the mix, but I mean everything was just crystal clear, and you can and you can hear it perfectly. So again, this was the second time around. It was it was a great experience. 
I hope everybody gets gets a chance to see it in the IMAX or got a chance to see it in the IMAX now that I'm, I'm filming this on a Sunday, which is the last day it's going to be shown in the IMAX, you know, from my understanding. But if you did get an opportunity to see it, I hope you did. Um, I would see it again if I had time to. Um, but yeah, this this uh, this second time around was perfect. It was um, the audio and, and and video was was superb, and um, yeah, it was uh, just a great time. And uh, so that's about it. Thank you, everybody.